two dozen relatives will hold a news conference in Los Angeles, pressuring those prosecutors to recommend resentencing in order to free the brothers. The siblings serving life sentences for killing their parents, Jose and Kitty, back in 1989. Kelsey's here to explain further. Kelsey, the thing I keep thinking of, why are all these family members coming together 34 years later now. Well, it's because they know they've got a ton of people watching this case right now. And really, part of the reason they're doing this is they're hoping it will put pressure on the DA to release the brothers from prison. Now, nearly two dozen family members today from all over the country are holding a press conference in Los Angeles. This is all in hopes it's going to move the needle. Comedian Rosie O'Donnell, an advocate for the brothers, is also expected to be present today in this press conference. District Attorney George Gascon is reviewing new evidence in the case against the two brothers who were convicted of murdering their parents back in 1996. Now, the new evidence includes a letter from Eric to a cousin before the killings claiming sexual assault by their father. Also, a boy band member who claims the boy's father raped him at 14. And family members have said the brothers should not have been charged with murder but manslaughter, but that was not an option at the time. So their family really believes the killings were about abuse and not about inheritance. Yeah, that's what's interesting, Marky. Okay. They really do. In this Netflix documentary, Eric claimed that he was spending money to, quote, cover up the horrible pain of not wanting to be alive. So last week on Cuomo, one of the brother's cousins said, quote, this about the abuse claims. I always believed that they were sexually molested. My sister Diane lived with them and she has evidence that was not allowed. We have always supported the boys once we knew and understood the facts. So Copley says she forgives Eric and Lyle. There's also a hearing set for November 29th. We've got family members that are hoping the brothers will be out of prison by then. We have also reached out to the relatives and the brother's attorney. They're not going to comment until after today's press conference. Yeah. Marky. And the 29th is interesting, the day after Thanksgiving. Exactly. Uh, I'm surprised anybody's working or uh, you know watching uh, on that day. Okay, Kelsey, thank you so thank much. You. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.